I'll start out with the best and 10 of the most popular software categories, after which I'll do a rapid fire of eight additional programs in various categories. The first category is the internet web browser. While Chrome does have the largest market share, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best. There are plenty of other browsers for you to choose from based on your needs. For example, if privacy is important to you, there's the Brave browser. If you want a browser with a ton of productivity features, Vivaldi is a solid choice. And if you believe in using open source software, Firefox is great as well. It's privacy focused and one of only a few that is not based on Chromium. Lately, Microsoft Edge has taken the lead as the best web browser. It includes a ton of features for productivity and accessibility, including a screen capture tool. It allows for vertical tabs and its immersive reader removes ads and other distractions to help you focus while reading. While not as privacy focused as some of the others, because it's based on Chromium, there are Chrome extensions available to make it more private. The game changer that's given Edge the lead is the AI-powered Copilot for Bing that is built into Edge. Through a partnership with OpenAI, it lets you create an image based on the text you enter. Chat-based search helps you to refine your search. You get answers that are summarized with citations. And it can help you with writing an email, essay, poem, or anything else you can think of unique to you. Microsoft Edge is available for Windows, Mac OS, and select Linux distros. They also have mobile apps for iOS and Android. To play the audio or video files on your computer, the absolute best media player is VLC. It's open source, there are no ads or spyware, and unlike many free media players, it does not track what you watch or listen to and send that information back to the developer. It'll play just about any audio or video file that you throw at it without the need to install codec packs. It's also lightweight on system resources, making your media files load quickly. VLC Media Player is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. It also has apps for both iOS and Android. If you can't afford to pay for a VPN, you should consider getting the open source Proton VPN free. A VPN is essential these days, especially if you're on public Wi-Fi to protect your data from being seen by others. For example, at an airport, hotel, and shopping mall to name a few. Proton has a strict no logs policy, meaning they'll never store the information about the sites you visit. There are no ads, and because they're based in Switzerland, they won't share your data with other countries. On the Proton VPN free plan, there are no data caps, but you are restricted to 100 servers in three countries. For most of you, that won't be an issue. If you need additional features, plans start at $4.99 per month. Proton VPN is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. You can also get it for iOS, Android, and Chromebook. If you're looking for a free Office Suite alternative to what is offered by Microsoft, the open source LibreOffice is all you need. It includes alternatives that are compatible with Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Publisher, all of which are updated on a regular basis by a full team of developers. To improve your experience, you can also add templates and extensions. LibreOffice is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Real quickly, before we move on to the next category, if you're looking for a free email client alternative to Microsoft Outlook, we recommend using Thunderbird. It's from the makers of the Firefox browser and available for all three of the major platforms. Instead of paying for an expensive program like Photoshop, I recommend you check out the free and open source GIMP. As some of you know, I'm a big fan of this program and have done a few tutorials over the years. You can use it to easily touch up a photo or create a new image. Just like Photoshop, it includes advanced filters and effects. You can do transformations, adjust the colors, and have the ability to work with layers. GIMP is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. If you ever have the need to edit high quality videos, nothing beats DaVinci Resolve. It includes a ton of professional features not often found in many paid programs. You can edit using multiple tracks, there's various trimming tools, along with cool transitions and effects for your projects. Also built in is Fusion that lets you create film quality visual effects and motion graphics. It's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. It's available in two flavors. DaVinci Resolve is completely free with more features than most people would ever need. And DaVinci Resolve Studio is geared towards advanced professionals for a cost of around $300. For live streaming and recording of your screen, OBS Studio is what I use. It's great for recording what is currently on your screen or for streaming live content to Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube, to name a few. 
It includes a built-in audio mixer. You can easily switch between an unlimited number of scenes, and unlike most of its free competitors, there are no time limits or watermarks. OBS Studio is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. ShareX is a fantastic free and open source screenshot tool for Windows only. It's more advanced than the built-in snip and sketch, and with more screen capture methods, it blows away competitors like GreenShot and many others. In addition to the standard screenshot methods, it allows for a scrolling capture of any web page, includes a built-in screen recorder, and various annotation tools to easily mark up your image. To secure all your passwords and sensitive information, using a password manager is becoming more necessary. Bitwarden is what I use. It's open source and free for personal use, allowing unlimited passwords on all your devices. All of your data is fully encrypted, so you're the only one that can get access to it, and their cloud syncing feature makes it easy to access your passwords on any device. Bitwarden is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, has extensions available for most browsers, and also has apps for both iOS and Android. The antivirus companies hate when I say, if you're using Windows 10 or 11 and stay away from risky behavior online, the antivirus protection built into Windows should be all that you need. For additional security, it's a good idea to have the free version of Malwarebytes available to run a scan for those times you think you might have a problem. Initially, they'll give you a 14-day free trial of their premium product with real-time protection. After the trial ends, you'll be left with the free version that will not run in the background but you'll still have the ability to run a scan on demand to check for issues your primary antivirus might have missed. In addition to Windows, Malwarebytes is also available for macOS and has mobile apps for Apple devices and Android. In our bonus segment, I'll now quickly show you eight free programs in eight different categories that might be of interest to you. Foxit PDF Reader is not just for those times you need to read a PDF and gives you more abilities than Adobe Reader. It includes annotation tools to mark up a PDF to help with collaboration, has form filling capabilities, and lets you easily fill in forms. VirtualBox is a cool open source program that lets you install and run other operating systems in a virtual machine on your computer. For example, if you use Windows or Mac OS, this is a great way to try out Linux distros without having to dual boot or overwrite your primary operating system. Blender is one of the most amazing free programs ever created. This open source 3D computer graphics toolset is used in the creation of animated films, video games, and a whole lot more. Irfanview is an oldie but goodie that's been around since 1996 and still updated on a regular basis. It's an image viewer, editor, organizer, and converter all in one. It'll even play video and audio files and has some image creation capabilities. Qubit Torrent is a torrent client that is open source, ad free, with a built in search engine and media player. Aside from the negative attention torrents get for illegal file sharing, legitimate uses include the sharing of free software and downloading of the files you already own. Audacity is an open source, multi-track audio editor and recording program that's great for both beginners and professionals. They had an issue a couple years back regarding opt-in telemetry that caused negative backlash. That decision has since been reversed. Inkscape is an open source vector graphics editor that is a fantastic alternative to Adobe Illustrator. It supports working with layers, with tons of tools for object creation and manipulation. And if you're needing to write code, nothing tops Visual Studio Code, free or paid. And for Microsoft, it's surprising that it's still free. It's great as a source code editor, debugger, and compiler all in one. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up. What free programs do you use that you think are great? Let me know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest top 10s and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.